Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm David Catanzarite. I'm the artistic director of the Green Room Theater. And I'm Karen Lynn. I'm the managing director. Thank you for all for coming. This is the final show of a wonderful run of uh, Fiddler on the Roof and uh, Little People Fiddling. Are, sure. are you all ready? Thank you so much for being here and Thank enjoy you. this great enjoy show. Now go and take the old goat into your house. 
tackle with you. What, really? Are you through this? Trust me. Go home, my good man. Do it at once. <laughs>
match thing. After all, I have a perfect match for your son. A wonderful girl. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Russell, the shoemaker's daughter. Russell, her chicken heart to see. She's almost blind. Tell the truth, Abram. Is your son so much to look at? The way she sees and the way he looks? It's a perfect match. <laughs> and Nahum, the beggar. Alms for the poor. Alms for the poor. Here, Nahum. There's one copet. One copeck? Last week you gave me two copecks. I had a bad week. So if you had a bad week, why should I suffer? <laughs> and most importantly, our beloved Ralph. Rabbi, may I ask you a question? Certainly, Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar? Of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us! <laughs> <laughs> Then, there are the others in the village. His honor the constable, his honor the priest, and many others. They don't bother us, and so far we don't bother them. Among ourselves, we get along perfectly well. Of course, there was the time when he sold her a horse and he delivered a mule, but that's all settled now. <laughs> now, we live in perfect peace and harmony. It was a horse. It was a mule. It was a horse. It was a Horse, yeah, horse, yeah, horse, yeah, horse, yeah, 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 I wonder if 
they finally found a match for you. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. <laughs> not unless it's Mono the tailor. <laughs> I didn't ask you. Saito, you're the oldest. Yenta has to find you a match before she finds me one. And me. Oh, Yenta, Yenta, Yenta. Well, somebody's got to make the matches. <laughs> Oh, day long I'd pity, pity, 
bum If I were a wealthy man I wouldn't have to work hard Dun ding dun ding dun ding dun ding dun 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 Where is everybody? Where are you? What is it, Mother? 
what? Good salad for Tony. Good salad, Bob. Good evening. Good evening. He wants to buy my new milk cow. Good evening. Can I please her? Yeah, yeah. And I'll be good to her. 
What do you think? What do I think? You can have a fine conversation with them if you talk about kidneys and livers. On the other hand, not everyone wants to be a scholar. Maybe I misjudged him. He is a good man. He likes her. He will try to make her happy. What do I think? It's a match! You agree? I agree! That's wonderful! To the both of us! To our agreements! To our good health and happiness! And most important, to life! To life! Machai! 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 To life! Here's to the father I try to be! Here's to my try to be! Dream Machai! Daughters, that sometime soon this district is to have a little unofficial demonstration. Oh, a, a pogrom? Just some mischief, so that if an inspector comes through, he will see that we've done our duty. Uh, my congratulations again for your daughter. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> Goodbye. Dear God, did you have to send me news like that, today of all days? It's true that we are the chosen people, but once in a while, can't you choose someone else? <laughs> anyway, thank you for sending a husband to my cycle.
Who was Sarah? The butcher's first wife. She was standing here a minute ago. Tavi, what's the matter with you? From up there, it's been dead for years. You must have been dreaming. Tell me what you dreamt, and I'll tell you what it meant. All right. Only don't be frightened. <laughs> In the beginning, I dreamt that we were having a celebration of some kind. Everyone we knew was there. Musicians, too. Suddenly, in comes your grandmother Saito. May she rest in peace. Grandmother Saito? How does she look? For a woman who's dead for 30 years, she looks very good. <laughs> Naturally, I went up to greet her. As she said,
Can I do something for you? Oh. No, thank you. Oh, you forgot your book. No, it's mine. Good day, Hapa. Good day. Fietka. Good day, Fietka.
gave my daughter Saito at her wedding. Was that really necessary? Anyway, Saito and Mutual are married now, almost two months. They both work very hard in their poor schools in winter. But they're both so happy. They don't know how miserable they are. <laughs> they have big plans. Mutual keeps talking about a new sewing machine. I know you're very busy, but could you take a second and get it for me? And while you're in the neighborhood, my horse's left leg. 
Am I bothering you too much? I'm sorry. As the good book says, why should I tell you what the good book says? <laughs> for your permission. You're not asking for my permission? But we would like your blessing. I can't believe my own ears. My blessing? For what? For going over my head. At least with Saito and Mato, they ask me, they beg me. But now, if I like it or not, she'll marry him. As soon as I can, I will send for her and marry her. They're going over my head. Unheard of. Absurd. For this, they want to be blessed. Unthinkable. I'll lock her up in her room. I couldn't. I should. I look at my daughter's eyes. She loves him. Tradition! <laughs> Very well, children. You have my permission and my blessing. Oh, thank you, Papa. You don't know how much that means to me. Yes. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. I was scared. 
Let me talk to your father. No, that would be the worst thing. I'm sure of it. Oh. Well, at least let me try. No, I'll talk to him. I promise. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good day, Hava. <laughs> Good day. What were you and he talking about? Nothing. But Papa, me and Becca have known each other for a long time now, and... Hava! You must not forget who you are and who that man is. He has a name, Papa. Of course. All creatures on Earth have names. But Beck is not a creature. He's a man. Who says that he isn't? It's just that he's a different kind of man. As the good book says, each shall seek his own kind. Which means a bird may love a fish, but where would they build a home together? <laughs> but we don't feel that way. We? Me, Becca. Want to get married. Are you out of your mind? Oh, Papa! No! Never talk about him again! Never see him again! Never! Do you understand me? Yes, Papa. two legs. Why can't he on three? <laughs> I know. I shouldn't complain about my horse. He is one of your creatures and he has the same rights I have. The right to be sick, the right to be hungry, the right to work like a horse. <laughs> and dear God, I'm sick and tired of pulling this cart. I know. I should push him. Tabia! Tabia! What is it? It's Hava. She left home this morning with Vietka. I looked all over for her. I even went to the priest, and he said they were married. Go home, Golda. But Hava. Hava is dead to us. We will forget her. Go home. order and known us all your life? I have nothing to do with it. Don't you understand? 
We understand. What if we refuse to go? You have three days. We should defend ourselves. And I'm for right. And it's your for two. Very well. That way the whole world will be blind and toothless. <laughs> We'll have to wait for him someplace else. Meanwhile, let's start packing. Well, Anatovka hasn't exactly been the Garden of Eden. That's true. After all, what have we got here? Papa, we can't say 
goodbye. And I will also leave in this place. We'll leave it to crack house. You cannot stay with people who can do such things to others. We just want to let you know that. Goodbye, Papa. Mama. Come, Hava. Goodbye, Hava. Fiesta. And may God be with you. And may God be with you. We'll write to you in America if you like. We'll be staying with Uncle Abram. Yes, Mama. We'll have to catch a train. Vilka, sprint up! Put the bundles in the wagon. And cycle. Don't forget the baby. <laughs>
day long I biddy biddy bum If I were a wealthy man I wouldn't have to work hard Yeah biddy 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 If I were a biddy biddy rich Idle diddle 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 man I'd build a big tall house with the rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town a fine tin roof with the real wooden floors below there would be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show I'd build my Yard with the chicks and the 